Hi, welcome to the discussion of the topic orthographic projections. Here the pictorial view is given. From that we have to draw two dimensional drawings namely front view, top view and side view. On this particular problem they are asking us to solve by using third angle projection. In earlier videos we solved by using first angle projection. For this particular problem we are going to use third angle projection. What do you mean by third angle projection? The third angle projection means the object is placed in the third quadrant and plane of projections is assumed to be transparent. That is in the case of third angle projection the object is kept in third quadrant and the plane of projection is assumed to be transparent. Plane of projection is assumed to be transparent. That means this particular object is to be placed in the third quadrant third quadrant third quadrant means that is below hp and behind vp below hp behind vp now i'll place this object in the third quadrant the object is kept in the third quadrant that is this is the horizontal plane and this one is the vertical plane and this one is profile plane that is the object is placed below the horizontal plane, behind the vertical plane and we are assuming the observer is standing somewhere here. The observer is standing somewhere here. Observer is standing somewhere here. So the planes of projections say this vertical plane and this horizontal plane and this profile plane are assumed to be transparent. Now from this object, from this object the projectors are drawn to the vertical plane. The projectors are drawn to the vertical plane. That is for the observer, this is going to be the front view. This is going to be the front view. That is from the object, we have to draw the projectors towards the projectors towards the vertical plane. Projectors towards the vertical plane. After drawing the projectors, you will get front view like this. Then for drawing the top view, we have to draw the projectors from the object to the horizontal plane like this. These are all projectors. The projectors are meeting the horizontal plane at different points and again these points are to be joined in a sequential order based upon the original shape of the object. Now we got the top view, now we got the top view on the horizontal plane. Now this xy this is the common line between this xy line is the common line between vertical plane as well as horizontal plane and this horizontal plane is rotated 90 degrees up this horizontal plane is rotated 90 degrees up that means this particular end this particular end comes closer to the xy line whereas this particular end this particular end this particular end goes away from the xy line goes away from the xy line so this is the main important point we have to observe here that is this portion is near to the xy line and this portion is away from the xy line so we are rotating the horizontal plane 90 degrees up 90 degrees up so that this view comes just above this xy line that is top view comes above the xy line and front view comes below the xy line then regarding side view again observer is standing side of the object as we have chosen the front view left side i am choosing the right right side for uh, choosing the side view so we have to see right side of the object this is going to be the profile plane from this plane we have to draw the projectors towards the projectors towards the profile plane then we will get the side view like this then we will get the side view like this then again the side view is to be rotated 90 degrees towards the right hand side so that this x1 y1 this is the common line that is reference line between front view as well as side view x1 y1 is the common reference line between front view as well as side view so that the side view comes adjacent to the front view side view comes adjacent to the front view that is below the xy line below the xy line so in this concept what we have to observe is front view comes below the xy line 
top view comes above the xy line side view comes adjacent to the front view that is below xy line and then this xy is the common line between uh, front view and uh, top view so that this particular end this particular end of the top view goes away from the xy line that is away from the xy line and here also this is x1 y1 no so that this particular end is nearer to the xy line and this end is this end of this side view is away from the xy line so that means we are rotating 90 degrees right hand side here 90 degrees right hand side here so that you will get exactly adjacent to the front view now we will draw the projections based upon real measurements now draw xy line as well as x1 y1 line draw xy line as well as x1 y1 line so drawing xy line and x1 y1 line and 45 degrees inclination line is over now we will draw the front tube first now we will draw the front tube first so the direction of this arrow indicates the front tube for the observer first he is able to see this part second part third part fourth part and fifth part these are all 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 parts are visible in the front view. First, we will complete drawing the front view. First part. What is the length? 12. 12 mm is the length. And height is how much? 8 mm. Height is 8 mm. As we are using third angle projection, that's why front view comes below the XY line and top view goes above the xy line so first we have to start doing front view so first front view we'll first we'll complete the front view then we'll move towards top view say 12 this is 12 this is 12 and height is 8 and then from here to there from here to there total distance from here to here is 18 so remaining 6 so this distance is 6 and height is 8 8 and then this rectangular block this rectangular block length is 20 height is 8 length is 20 height is 8 that is drawing second part also over then third part third part length is uh, 6 length is 6 I mean from here to there from here to there it is this particular part even though it's a slant it looks like a straight 6 mm and height is 8 mm and then this particular length 12 and height 8 and here one more rectangle one more rectangle that height also 8 mm that is drawing 1 2 3 4 is over next 5 at what distance its length is from here to there length is 8 mm length is 8 mm I mean from the center of this total see 56 56 center how much 28 28 from here 28 is the center and length is 8 mm that is 4 mm left side and 4 mm right side and height of this one is how much 16 16 height is given 16 height is given
16 height is given that is drawing front view is completed then after drawing front view then we have to draw the projectors from various corners of the front view towards the horizontal plane for drawing top view in the case of top view we are able to see the sixth one fifth one and this seventh one seventh one means from this total this total this particular shape is there no this total this particular shape is there no the total shape is visible plus this particular sixth one plus this particular fifth one is visible in the top view now we will draw the projectors towards the horizontal plane that is drawing projectors from front view towards the horizontal plane is completed then we are seeing top of the object in this way say top view for the observer this total length that is 56 length then 16 breadth and again 12 length and again this particular shape and again 20 length and again this particular shape and again 12 length and again this particular breadth is visible that is seventh number shape is visible in the top view first then we'll draw this sixth number then we'll draw this uh, five number shaped one so first we'll draw seventh number as i said in the earlier explanation so this particular length goes away from the x y line this portion this portion comes nearer to the x y line this portion is nearer to the x y line and this portion is away from the x y line so i'll draw first away from the x y line portion that is 56 is the length 56 is the length after drawing this 56 length line then this particular breadth is how much 16 breadth is 16 and again 12 is the length Twelve is the length. After that, from here to there, this particular shape. So from from here to here, this particular distance is how much? Six mm. So and again, this length is how much? 20 and again i mean this particular portion also completed then join this one after joining this then join this length of 12 and again this breadth I mean seventh part is completed then we have to draw sixth part the sixth part breadth wise how much it is 14 and length 8 length is 8 and the breadth is 14 this particular shape to be completed and then this fifth part fifth part then we'll draw projectors towards the 45 degrees line from that 45 degrees line to the profile plane for drawing the side view total breadth is 32 and height as 8 mm height as 8 mm so 16 after 16 after 16 this particular line this is the 
I mean from here to there 16 from here to there again 16 then this total height 16 then this length 14 14 then this slant this slant how much total from here to there it is 24 we already taken 14 remaining 10 mm then we have to draw slant line we have to draw slant line that is drawing side view also completed drawing side view also completed then we have to do the dimensioning part doing the dimensioning and labeling also completed so this is the given problem for this we got front view top view and side view like this as it is a third angle projection front view comes below the xy line top view comes above the xy line and side view are descent to the front view so labeling dimensioning everything is completed so i hope everyone understood well thank you